How do you talk to somebody if you don't speak the same language? In The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Douglas Adams solved the problem of humans talking to all different kinds of aliens with the babble fish. It's this little yellow leech-like fish. If you stick one in your ear, you can instantly understand anything said to you in any form of language. Seems like magic, but I don't love the idea of having a jam of fish in my ear. At Daily, we're using AI to make live translation possible in real-time video calls. Let me show you. So what do you think are some of the more interesting use cases for live translation? Creo que hay muchas posibilidades. Uh, estamos viendo mucho interés por parte de clientes de telesalud. Por ejemplo, I think there are many possibilities. We are watching much interest from telehealth clients. For example, you might need a doctor who doesn't speak your language. And this is excellent technology for this type of cases. That's my coworker Alesh. He's a native Spanish speaker. My terrible Spanish pronunciation wasn't working all that well, so I asked him to help out. Interesting. What else? Uh, pues la traducción en tiempo real también puede resultar muy útil en el campo de la educación. Well, the real-time translation. Puede permitir que expertos en diferentes campos se It can also be very useful in the field of education. For example, it can allow experts in different fields connect with students from all over the world. Now, I'm not playing any tricks with the editing here. What you're hearing is what was happening in the call. A few seconds after he started speaking in Spanish, I was seeing translated captions and hearing translated audio. I even gave him a posh British voice for the last question. What are some of the more difficult parts of getting this to work? This is a very good question. What we want to achieve is that the conversation is the most natural and fluid possible. So we are trying to make sure that... This is a very good question. What we want to achieve is that the conversation be as natural and fluent as possible. So, we are trying to prevent delays due to technology. Thanks to Daily Python, you can translate audio in your call from dozens of languages to dozens of other languages. Let's take a look at the code. It runs in two parts. Daily Python handles the interactions with AI services, and a simple HTML front end built with Daily's client side SDK lets each call participant manage their own experience. We'll come back to the front end in a minute. To start, our our Python app connects to the daily call and starts transcription on the call server. This starts sending audio from each track to DeepGram. The transcription text comes in as a series of app messages containing a sentence or a fragment of what someone said, along with info about who said it. We can use Daily Python to set up an event handler that runs each time we receive some transcribed text. We're using a lot of threads to allow these things to happen in parallel, which minimizes the time between someone speaking a sentence in one language and everyone hearing it in another. We can take that transcribed text and include it with a system prompt that asks GPT-4 to translate it for us. Once we get the translated text, we can associate it with the participant info from the original transcription and send a new app message to the call participants with the translated text. There's one more step to create the audio. We send the translated sentence to the text-to-speech API, which returns a snippet of raw audio data. We can write that audio data to a special queue, and Daily Python's virtual microphone device reads that queue to play the audio into the call. This is where the front-end app comes back into the picture. When I join the call, my browser sends an app message to all the other participants in the call, indicating what language I'm speaking and what I want to hear. When our Daily Python app connects to the call, it basically appears as a robot participant. It doesn't have a video track, but its audio track is the Spanish to English translation. Daily's SDK lets each participant manage the tracks they're subscribed to. So when I join the call, I make sure this audio dropdown is set to English. My browser knows that Alesh is speaking Spanish, so it automatically turns down his audio track a little bit and it subscribes to the English translation track from the translator. We've got a blog post with more info, as well as links to the code we use to make this demo. It's based on the same architecture we use for our awesome StoryBot demo. I'll link all of that down in the description. At Daily, we think that AI-powered video is the future, and we're building a platform to make it happen. You can check out daily.co slash blog for more info on this and all the other ways we're enabling AI-powered video workflows with flexibility you can't get anywhere else.